Hey everybody, I'm glad you're here joining with me tonight. Um, tonight we are going to learn about making good decisions. I'd like to share a story with you. Okay, it's about a cat and a dog. One day the cat and the dog were together and they were just kind of out walking around the neighborhood, you know, as cats and dogs do. They were looking around, seeing if they could find anything fun to play with or eat or anything. And the cat found a mouse, so he was all excited. And the dog, he found some bones with some meat on, like, you know, some leftovers, some scraps and things. So he was happy. And then, so they were playing and they were eating. And then as they were playing and eating, they began arguing. You know, sometimes when we're playing with our friends, we don't always get along and they started arguing and the dog said to the cat you think you're so smart you don't know more than me you only know one trick I know lots of them well the cat said well maybe maybe I only know a little but it's way better than all your tricks and all you know it all so just then they heard this truck coming by and <clears throat> all of a sudden the truck stopped and a man got out of the truck and he had a net like he wanted to catch them so the the cat he ran up the tree and he hid in the leaves and he yelled down at the dog this is my trick now let me see how smart you are well the dog had so many plans that he just ran from here to there he didn't know what to decide to do he couldn't figure out which plan was good and which was bad and so he just ran around and ran around and dodged here and dodged there and ran all over and the man was closing in on him and he ran fast and he jumped over things but soon the net came over him the man caught him and took him to his truck you see the dog was smart but he couldn't make a decision now that might not been we, that might not been as smart as the cat then we don't know if he was smarter than the cat or not. We just know at that point, the cat made better decisions than the dog. Think about the decisions that you made today. How many of your decisions were good decisions? Did you make any bad decisions? Or were there times when you were kind of like the dog and you didn't know what decision to make? There's a man in the Bible who helped to start a lot of churches and when churches were having problems with things he would write to them and his name was paul and he wrote a letter to the people in rome and that book in the bible is called romans and he they were having trouble making good decisions so they just wanted to do whatever they wanted to do and they didn't care about what the consequences were or how they impacted other people so paul wrote them a letter to tell them that they needed to try to make the decisions that God would want them to make. We read it in Romans 8, um, verse 9. It says, But do not live as your human nature tells you to. You live, inst instead, you should live as the Spirit tells you to. In fact, God's Spirit lives in you. So Paul was telling them not to just do whatever they wanted to do, but they needed to do what God wanted them to do, what God's Spirit was telling them to do. So he told them that the Holy Spirit lived in them. So it's kind of like when you have a balloon, you know, and you blow the air in the balloon and the balloon gets bigger, it fills up. And that's what happens when we believe in Jesus. Jesus' Spirit fills us up, like the air fills up the balloon. And then the Holy Spirit, um, the Holy Spirit is in us and helps to guide us and lead us. So one of the Holy Spirit, one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit is a dove. So. I have my Legos out and I'm going to make a dove. So I have my dove here and I'm going to put his head on. Now let's see. Let's try this. We got, got his neck and I'll put his head on. Doves are mostly white. Now you can try with your Legos to make um, make your own bird. It doesn't have to be white. So let me put this here. Let's try to make them a little bigger. Uh, 
let's do that. There's this little tail. Now I'm going to make some wings. My dog's going to have some big wings. Let's see, we'll put, maybe put this like this. We'll put one right here. Put one up here. And another one here. He's going to have big wings. He has little eyes. And there's my dove. He's kind of flying around. So if you make your dove, then you can, um, if you want to send it to me, I can post it on Facebook of our of our bird of the birds that you make and or you can maybe have your parent put it on our uh, put it on our Facebook so everybody can see all your birds that you've been able to make so this dove represents the Holy Spirit and when we have Jesus' spirit living in us the spirit helps us to make those good decisions we learned how to make good decisions from our parents or grandparents or anybody who actually helps to take care of us and when when we have decisions to make it's like Jesus's little voice it's like that little voice we hear our um, or thoughts in our minds telling us to make the right decision so this is okay we have my dove and we're gonna play one activity today to see how Jesus's spirit helps us to make decisions so I'm gonna tell you a decision and then I want you um, to move one way or the other so um, if it's a good decision then we'll move this way and if it's maybe a not so good decision or a bad decision we're gonna move this way and we'll see which way the dove moves and see which way you move so the first one is um, okay, remember this is good and this is bad so making fun of someone where do we go for that let's see where the dove goes up oh, the doves over here so that would be a bad decision um, to make fun of someone okay let's see praying to God oh the doves flying over here that's a good decision playing video games when you're supposed to be cleaning your bedroom whoop that's a bad decision sneaking cookies to eat before dinner Oh, our dove thinks that might be a good decision. I think our dove might like cookies. Let's see. No, nope, no, nope. here he is. It's maybe not a good dis good decision. Reading a good book. Yep, that's a good decision. Hitting someone. No, nope, not so good. How about brushing your teeth? Yep, that's a good decision. Or um helping someone well that's a good decision throwing trash on the ground not a good decision telling someone that you don't like that they did a good job yeah that's a real good decision so see when you make a decision pray think about what jesus would want you to do feel that little spirit kind of telling your voice that little inner voice in you telling you to make that right decision that means that you're living as Jesus wants you to so our memory verse for this week is Romans 8 9 live as the Spirit tells you to now I want you to say it with me Romans 8 9 live as the Spirit tells you to let's do it one more time Romans 8 9 live as the Spirit tells you to Thank you for joining with me today for our, for our jam time. And we'll join together next Wednesday at 6.30 for another jam time. Um, and before we close, we'll say a prayer together. If you'll bow your heads and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for this time to learn about your spirit. Help me to listen to you when I have decisions to make so that I make the decisions that Jesus wants me to. Amen.
Thank you all. Have a great night.